Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, it looks and feels like winter out there right now, but a week from today, it will not. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be close to freezing, colder weather on Wednesday, back to freezing on Thursday, and then the warm up. Upper 30s on Friday, lower 40s on Saturday, mid to upper 40s then as we move into Sunday and Monday. So a lot of that snow, if not all of it, is going to be gone a week from today. Right now we are looking at lower to mid 30s across northeast Wisconsin. It is currently 34 degrees in Sturgeon Bay. We're looking at 32 in Appleton. Once again, the roads have been wet pretty much all day long with temperatures at or above freezing. But now that the sun has set, those roads are becoming snow covered and they will become icy as well. You can see the traffic here on 41 moving north towards the Lombardi exit. The traffic is moving pretty slowly northbound, but you can see cars zipping along to the south at a pretty good pace. So overall, the major highways are in good condition, but some of the side roads are going to start to go downhill. Here's a look at your forecast once again for this evening's game. Tailgating temperatures right now in the lower 30s. We have light snow falling as we move into the game from kickoff up to the fourth quarter. We're going to see the chance for some light snow and or flurries and the winds are going to start to pick up as well as uh, northwest winds develop from north to south across the area as some colder air starts to push in from Canada. NBC 26 precision radar shows a large area of light snow, flurries and drizzle covering northeast Wisconsin. The accumulating snow we had this morning has pushed east into lower Michigan. Many spots picking up two to four inches of snow, four inches in Bondewell, Three inches in Shauna. We had three inches here at NBC 26 as well. The system responsible for the snow is now lifting north into Canada. We've got a cold front moving in from the north. Behind that cold front, some colder air. Temperatures running 10 to 20 degrees colder than what we saw yesterday afternoon across Minnesota, North and South Dakota, where right now we are looking at temperatures that are only in the teens and 20s. And that colder weather is pushing south and east for tomorrow. So look for highs to be in the upper 20s to lower 30s, pretty much where we should be as we get ready to move into mid-December. So tonight, cloudy skies, light snow will taper off to flurries. Overnight lows will be in the mid-20s as that northwest wind starts to crank up. Tomorrow, plenty of clouds, a little bit of sunshine, could see a flurry. High temperatures will be close to freezing. We'll see northwest winds at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 32. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the Kingdom Come Food Pantry in Oconto Falls. And we did that on Saturday. I forecast 32 and the high temperature was 32 degrees. High pressure controls our weather for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Initially a northerly wind, but that wind turns to the south as it moves away, and that means we're going to warm up. Clouds, showers and fog developing as that warmer weather pushes in over the weekend. Temperatures getting up into the 40s, some 50s are even possible, and then remaining above normal, but cooler as we head through next week. So it could be an interesting night at Lambeau Field with the weather conditions. Let's hope so. I mean, the chances for snow will start to decrease as the game wears on, but hopefully it's still snowing a little bit, at least when the game starts. It looks so pretty, <laughs> I must say that. Nothing like snow at Lambeau Field. <laughs> I hear you. All right, thanks, yeah. Cameron. NBC 20.